Alright guys, welcome back. This is tutorial 15 part 5. I know I lied. said I wasn't going to record another one, but I decided to anyways because I wanted to add that animation uh, to the character before you left or when you showed up in the new scene. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So um, what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, you know what? I didn't actually test it for you either. So I actually set up the test for it. Um, but um, I just had this transfer you over to a alternate uh, place, and then when you talk to him, you could see that the teleport was not an option, and that when you went to another one and talked to him, that of course then teleport was available and listed the names of the maps according to what they show over here. So um, you can go ahead and choose the map. It kind of hangs for a second and transfers you. Um, and then remember, as I said, that if you don't have a comment, um, a commented uh, method to tell you where you should be transferring to, it will always put you where you stay or where you were in the previous map. So that's kind of why that was there. So we're just going to do that one more time just to show you that by placing that new event, that that's where we will go. So we'll go ahead and talk to this guy. We'll say teleport map three, and we are taken to the correct location. So now, animations. Um, what we're going to do, so I had to look it up just to make sure that we could um, do it. And uh, the animation ID stuff in the game interpreter does do it right on game player, so that's the way we're going to do it. And so all we're going to do is say input C on teleport command that we are going to play an animation on you and wait for that to finish playing before we actually go through with the teleport. Um, so what we can do is we can actually take this uh, teleport data here and we can destroy the window, take you back to the main scene, well kind of the main scene, uh, actually I guess we would have to go all the way back to the map, wouldn't we? Um, You know what, this is going to have to be when you show up on the new map. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll leave that, and then you can decide whether or not you want to adjust that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the game player animation ID. So game player dot animation ID equal to, and then we're going to pass that the ID of the animation out of the animations tab. So you can come in here and choose whichever one you would like. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the recover um, to method. So that's ID number 41. So we're just going to go ahead and add that in here like that. I guess if you want to, you can copy that up here and we can set a, um, let's see, teleport. Teleport uh, animation ID equals, and we'll set that. And then we scroll back down and we set that animation ID. What is that? I don't even know. Let's see, DQ. Is it DQ save? It was DQ save. Let's see, where did we leave that? There it is. DQ. Oops. Save. Colon, colon, teleport ID. All right, so let's just go ahead and make sure that it plays that animation on our character once we get back into the map. Teleport one, teleport two, and now we actually do a teleport through the system. And you are there. Talk to him, teleport back to map. To the map. I like that. Pretty sweet, if you ask me. So that's the way we're going to leave it, and that is all we've got for today. So hopefully, you guys have learned something out of all of this, and uh, don't forget, go back and comment your code before you release it. And that's all I have for you. We'll see you guys later. Bye.